Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to the channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I feel like we have a lot to discuss. Uh, I mean, that's how I feel like every time I do one of these. It's it's nuts the amount of makeup that is coming out where you can do one of these videos every other week or every week, right? It's kind of bananas, but there's a few things I'm actually like really looking forward to and there's some where I've got thoughts. Before we jump in, I just wanted to give one update. I actually finally picked up a palette that I really wanted from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette, which I've been looking forward to ever since like it came out. It's really cute. I haven't actually used it yet. I literally got this like a day or two ago. I was going to like a different CVS with my boyfriend that I normally go to and they had the whole collection there which is shocking because this has been sold out like everywhere. Originally I really wanted this and like all the lipsticks but I was very iffy on the lipsticks and I was like am I really gonna wear like a bright pink a bright orange like it's a cute idea but I don't think I'm actually gonna use it so I just picked up the palette because the palette was like the one thing that like I really wanted. <laughs> So I'll be testing this out. Um, I actually have only even swatched half the shade, so I haven't even actually fully swatched this. So we'll be thoroughly testing it out. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram to get my follow-up thoughts because I am going to begin doing palette reviews on Instagram. I have my first two just about ready to go. Okay, let's jump in the trend mood. The first thing I want to talk about kind of ties back to what I talked about in my last Be Wow. It's just like, does everyone need a makeup collection? The answer is no. <laughs> But Funko Pop apparently said, yeah, how about we do that? Uh, I've got like one or two Funko Pops and they're just, they're, I mean, they're like tchotchkes, you know? I wouldn't, I don't want this. <laughs> no one really asked for this. It looks like kids makeup. Who is this marketed to? Is it us? <laughs> I don't know, but it's just like, mm. Mm. So MAC Cosmetics is coming out with a collab with Pony's makeup, MAC X Pony, and I gotta admit, I scrolled past this really fast at first, and I thought this was a KKW release. It looks kind of like it. It's, it's a very bland, very basic palette. It's a very bland, it looks like a lip gloss, and just a fix plus with a new thing. It's just, yeah. Ofra is coming out with a collab or has already. I don't know when this is coming out. Yeah, it came out September 1st. I'm a bit behind. <laughs> it's coming out with a collab with Madison Miller, who I don't know who you are. Okay, YouTuber. Makes sense. So, I mean, it looks gorgeous. I have to say, like, I think the highlighters are gorgeous. Um, I like the new packaging Ofra has been coming out with, but I still think they're a bit pricey. I actually really like the look of like that face palette with like that really orange kind of blush in it but this is just gonna be too pricey I don't need this I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this palette but the more I see it like the more I want it <laughs> it's the Domini Cosmetics Celestial Storm palette and dang I really want this palette I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy it like right away but I want this palette there's too many ColourPop releases now for me to even like keep track of and we're gonna talk about ColourPop in a little bit because I've got words to say for ColourPop so we'll just skip over the X's and O's collection because whatever. Uh, there's another new Viseart palette coming out. I don't think these are worth it. I think they're way too pricey. Uh, I really wouldn't recommend them because they used to be like everyone's like be all end all on YouTube but they're just overpriced. They're not the best quality. Like I've had more expensive better quality and I've had less expensive better quality so Personally, Viseart is something special. They're just incredibly overpriced, especially for the packaging. They they market themselves as being for the um, like the makeup artist, so the packaging is cheap and plastic, so that you can throw it in your bag and whatnot. But I, if I'm spending as a consumer eighty bucks on an eyeshadow palette and the shadows are only so so quality and it's in plastic, it's something I'd expect to see at a, a drugstore, not eighty bucks. You know. I, I don't I don't like it. So I think we talked about the inside of the Warrior 3 or maybe it was just the outside of the Warrior 3. This is what the Warrior 3 from Juvia's Place looks like and then also I'm gonna throw up a picture of the new Nomad palette because I basically went and placed kind of a big Juvia's Place order. I picked up a like a loose face powder, I picked up a lipstick and I got a bunch of palettes because <laughs> they had a sale. So I got the Nomad and to me the Nomad looks like a cute like dupe for subculture. 
So I want to see how that is, especially since I'm panning subculture, I'm wearing subculture on my eyes today, for the mattes at least. So I want, I'm really excited about that palette. It's very fall to me, but also Warrior 3 is gorgeous. It's, it's just a colorful palette. It actually reminds me a lot of the uh, Makeup Murder palette I just picked up, but it does look a lot like it. But I love Juvia's Place. I've got like a bunch of Juvia's Place palettes back here on display. Like, did anyone ask for this? Becca is coming out with another new face palette and it's called the Pop Goes the Glow Champagne Pop Face and Eye Palette. And I guess they've gotten to the point where Jacqueline no longer needs to be tied to Champagne Pop because that was her eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, that was her highlighter, right? So I guess now they're out of contract or whatever and they're trying to like re-release it in a face palette form, but this is $40. Yeah. And I wouldn't use this. Honestly, Champagne Pop was already just overhyped to begin with, so yeah. Did I already talk about the new Urban Decay Naked Honey palette? Because what the hell? You discontinued the original like Naked palette and you're coming out with the Honey palette? Come on. It's mostly brown. It's brown. It's not even like yellow. Actually, I saw a great video from Angelica Nyquist where she did a What the Naked Honey palette should have been. Yes, go watch that video. I'll have it linked down below. That was really good. Um, but yeah, overall, very disappointed with Urban Decay here. Ooh, something I was actually like so excited for the minute I saw it. Natasha Denona is coming out with a mini gold palette and it's just like olive greens and mm, oh, I want it. I want it. It's a mini palette. It's going to be around $25. Yes. She's also coming out with a go glow gold. Why is that so hard for me to say right now? Glow gold duo, which I'm not going to get. That's like closer to 40 bucks. I'm not going to use that. But the mini olive palette. Yes. <laughs> I want it. I'm gonna jump around here because I want to keep Natasha Denona together. Speaking of Natasha Denona, it looks like this is limited edition, but then again, the Sunset palette was limited edition and it's still here. This is actually something I want and it, I kind of hate myself for wanting this palette, but this is the new Holiday 2019 palette, the Metropolis. So it's as big as one of the like her bigger palettes, which go for over 200, but they cut the amount of product in half, which you do get a lot of product in these. So they cut the product in half. So it was a big palette, but it's the size of like the sun. It's like the price of the sunset palette. So it's around 129. I uh, kind of want it, but uh, mm. so. I am not getting this right away. I think it's already available or it will be available sometime this week. I. If I still want this in like December and it's still around, I'll get it then because I'll probably get Sephora gift cards for my birthday and for Christmas. But I don't want to get it until then. Like I can't. It's a lot of money and I don't touch the other Natasha Denona palettes that I already have. But this color story is just like calling to me. <laughs> it's like, Monica, buy me. <laughs> so stupid. But I actually really want that palette. Okay, this NARS palette. I'm, I'm not a fan of all shimmer palettes. This is a collab too, I think, but it's all shimmer. It's $60. It's all shimmer and it's limited edition. No, that was just like three strikes and you're out. <laughs> okay, so here we are to ColourPop. I've got several things to say here. So the first thing is the main big collab. They're finally coming out with Morphe sized palettes, which of course was bound to happen at some point. And it's a collab with Jacqueline. Jacqueline. <laughs> That's what it feels like. This feels like a Jaclyn Hill collab from Colourpop. This is from Kathleen Lights. And I'm still ugh, about Kathleen ever since her N-word controversy that everyone seems to have like swept under the rug for some reason. So I, I wouldn't buy this because of that. Um, part of me was impressed that Colourpop was expanding like this, but now I'm thinking this is bad. Colourpop is going to go to the way of Morphe now. With, I mean, they already have without the collabs. Not only is this like Kathleen Lights's like eighth collab with ColourPop, they came out with two other collabs that same week. 
The other one was with that girl Shay, who was on her third or fourth collab with ColourPop. And then finally, there was another girl who I actually have to specifically look up because she got overshadowed by the rest of these ColourPop releases. And I think it's her first ColourPop palette, or not palette, her first ColourPop collab. And it wasn't even a palette. I think they just bundled products together for her. And that, I don't like that. If you're going to do a collab with someone, take the time to actually do the collab. Like, don't just throw together some products and release it the same week you're releasing a big Kathleen Lights collab. Like, you're just pushing that influencer under the bus. I, ugh. So yeah, I'm not going to get this palette. I already have the Jaclyn Cosmetics, not Jaclyn Cosmetics, oof. I already have the Jaclyn and Morphe palette, which is actually a decent palette. And I think if you have that, you really don't need this. Especially since ColourPop is coming out with damn near three collabs a week at this point. So I'm kind of confused by this, but like, not in a bad way. Hilary Duff is collabing with Nude Sticks for like a collection of, um, I'm assuming, oh, there's eye colors too. So there's a matte blush, there is a glow highlighter, there's three eye colors, and then there's a gel lip color and cheek balm. These are all stick products. I don't know if I would actually use these, but I was surprised to see Hilary Duff like doing a collab like this. I honestly... I honestly only think she's doing this because Disney just announced that they're revamping and like restarting Lizzie McGuire and that she's going to be starring in it. So we're probably going to see a little bit more and more of Hilary Duff as they start to market that show more on that new Disney streaming platform or whatever. But I think it's cute. Would I use it? No, but it's cute. This whole holiday collection from Too Faced is just meh. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'll laugh the rest of my life at their extra spicy palette. <laughs> that hot buttered rum palette just looks like a hot piece of shit. The only thing I would actually recommend is like the melted lipstick for the gingerbread man and the gingerbread girl because I actually really like that lipstick. I bought that and it's a really cute color, especially for fall. Other than that, I can't say anything. I was like, mm. Pat McGrath is coming out with a new palette with a new palette. This is the Midnight Sun eyeshadow palette and it it's kind of cute but it's also $125 and I have another Pat McGrath. I'm actually trying to pan it and I'm not a I don't I don't know is it bad to say I'm not a huge fan of the formula? I'm not <laughs> so I, I'm not gonna buy any other eyeshadows from um, Pat McGrath anytime soon. So Sigma is coming out with some liquid lipsticks and they're specifically saying that they're hydrating shades. So I wonder how they're going to be. I honestly haven't tried any of like Sigma's makeup. I love some of their brushes. They have some amazing brushes, but I've never tried any of their makeup. I'm looking into maybe picking up a few things and testing out Sigma makeup. This would probably be a good place to start. Maybe pick up a couple of shades. It looks like they're going to be available September 17th. I don't see prices though. So we're finally getting a sneak peek of the new holiday collection from Hourglass. So there is the face palette that comes out. There is going to be a blush palette, a packet of their um, scattered light eyeshadows, I guess is their like paint pot kind of things. And then there's going to be um, a lipstick duo. Looking at the face palette, it looks very similar to like the two that came out last year. They're like squished together. I was kind of hoping for a little bit different, but I don't think I would pick this up just because I have two. <laughs> well, I actually decluttered one to a friend of mine. So I've got the one palette, the unlocked one that I really love and still love now. Yeah, I don't think I need this one. The blush palette is kind of cute. That would be nice to have, but blushes take forever to use. But I've also only tried the blush inside the palette. I don't need this. Stop it, Monica. Stop. I don't need this. <laughs> Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette and it's called the Radioactive Palette, I think. Yeah, Radioactive Eyeshadow Palette. It's $48 and it's a rainbow palette. Yeah, I think I'm okay on this. I picked up a couple of rainbow palettes and I have their um, their green palette, the Smoke Sessions. So I think I'm good with Melt for now. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I looked at the Charlotte Tilbury and it's supposed to be like new additions for the holidays. And I'm like, I thought these products all existed already. Are there any of these new? I don't know. I finally picked up the Charlotte Tilbury products. I'm testing them out, but it's gonna take some convincing and some time and whatnot before I pick anything else up from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually
actually just got a sample packet, speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, where um, they're basically swatches of like all of, not all, but like a lot of their lipstick shades. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a swatch party and picking like one lipstick that I like and maybe getting that during the holidays. <laughs> just so that I could also try out a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick because I've heard like amazing things and who knows, who knows. So I'm gonna go through that. Let me know if you wanna see that in a video. That kind of, that could be fun. Cause I th think it's like 10-ish swatches, like a little, you know, sample packets where you can open it up and like swatch it real quick. So I'm going to do that and maybe pick one lipstick to try out too. That way I have like the primer, a lipstick, and then I've got like the bronzer highlight thing. All right, over to Indie Makeup Spotlight. This is actually a palette that I kind of wanted, but I realized I only wanted it because like the one green shade. If I cover the one green shade, then it's just like modern renaissance. This is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics and it's the Vintage Rose palette. It's gorgeous. But yeah, if I cover up that green, it's just, you know, a pink palette. So I don't think I really need that, which I'm glad I'm saying that now because it like sold out like immediately. <laughs> and so no one can get it. Something I actually like, I'm still debating on getting, especially because they said it'll be restocked. So I didn't want to jump on and get it right away. But I do want to support this YouTuber because she is really cool. I mentioned her earlier. This is Angelica Nikvist's um, collab with um, Davina Cosmetics. I do have some Davina singles and I do think they are really good. They're good quality. I just suck at like reaching for singles. So if I were to get this, it would basically I'll be put into this palette and it would stay like that <laughs> just so that I would actually reach for it as if it were a palette. I honestly think this was so well curated. She has like some warm colors. She's got the green. She's got a blue. She's got an orange. I just I think this is really creative and I think this is really well done so I want to support her and I want to support Davina and pick this up I just don't know when I'm gonna get it uh, they did say it was gonna be limited edition but that if it does sell out they're gonna keep restocking it I don't know how long they're gonna keep restocking it for but I really want this you know who's got me interested in lethal cosmetics it's uh Teresa is dead so I see that they did come out with some new shades I do think they're a bit pricey which is what it's holding me back a little bit but I'd be willing to pick up, I don't know if I should pick up like a bundle and just keep it in a palette like that or we'll see. I see. I'm interested. I do like the, of course I do like the, like the green and blue, whatever, which I don't need, but they look really cute. And from the way Teresa has been talking about them, like I want them. <laughs> Hey guys, it's voiceover editing Monica here because I cannot believe that I forgot to talk about the one thing that I really wanted to talk about. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot, but this is what happens when you film early in the morning. This is the new Wet n Wild 40 palette. Right now, it's only available at RuPaul's Drag Con in New York City, but it's going to be coming to the Wet n Wild website in fall 2019, so hopefully sometime soon. Of course, this blew up because Jameis Chineo, otherwise known as James Charles, threw a fit about how Wet n Wild was copying his palette. While it is fairly similar, like, they have no- no one has any room to get off on, like, companies doing dupes. Dupes are a thing, right? And I would 100%, 100% much rather get this palette from Wet n Wild than from the scumbag that is James Charles and Morphe, right? Right. So I cannot wait to pick this palette up. Um, and hopefully, like, if you haven't heard about this controversy or drama just ignore it because it's just james charles doing what he does best talking out of his ass okay and i think that's all that we have time for today i gotta start getting ready for work a lot of things <laughs> let me know down below what you think of the color pop collab what am I trying to say? Like the merry-go-round of like the same three people doing collabs with them and the fact that they're coming out with products like literally every week I am I am just so burnt out. I mean, they come out with some good products every now and then, but overall, I'm burnt out on ColourPop, especially the collabs. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you tune in if you haven't already subscribed, and tune in for the next Be Wow, which will be two weeks from today, because I might have a special guest. I'll leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.